In this video, we will discuss symmetric key cryptography. The main idea behind cryptography is sending messages between two or more parties in such a way that the message can only be read by the intended recipients and not by any third party. To illustrate this, suppose that we had two friends, Alice and Bob, who wish to send messages to each other over a channel that is not secure. Because the channel they are communicating over is not secure, any correspondence between Alice and Bob could potentially be intercepted and read by an eavesdropper, who we'll call Eve. To avoid having her message intercepted, Alice can instead send Bob an encrypted message, which only Bob can open. The advantage of sending an encrypted message is that even if the eavesdropper Eve is able to intercept the encrypted message, she cannot do anything with this information. In order for Alice to encrypt a message that only Bob can decrypt, they first need to establish a shared key. Before we discuss the key, we first need to define a few important terms. The first term is an encryption function. An encryption function is a function which turns readable plain text into unreadable cipher text. The cipher text may take many forms, usually a string of random numbers, letters, or symbols. The sender of the message uses an encryption function to scramble or encrypt their plain text message into the unreadable cipher text, and the cipher text is then sent to the recipient. The recipient of the message receives the ciphertext and then uses a decryption function to recover the original plain text message from the ciphertext. In a symmetric key encryption scheme, both the sender, Alice, and the recipient, Bob, use the same shared key to lock and unlock their messages. This shared key acts as a barrier protecting the message from the eavesdropper. Even if Eve manages to intercept the encrypted message without the shared key, the ciphertext is useless. There are many different types of encryption and decryption functions to use, as well as many methods to establishing a shared key. We will discuss some of these methods in future videos.